So as the last uh, section of the, the pet session this morning, uh, I'll give you a, a sort of brief update on, on what we do at uh, the Martino Center, which is located in Charlestown. We're part of the Department of Radiology at Mass General Hospital, but we're physically located in Charlestown. Um, we actually have a, a unique technology, which I'll show you pictures of. We have a, a couple of human MR PET scanners, but we're developing a program that, that started two years ago that, that works all the way from the beginning of radio tracer synthesis and actually before molecule synthesis uh, on method development. So in order to use molecules in positron emission tomography, you first have to label them. And so one key aspect of what we do is the development of new methods to label those molecules. We carry that all the way through the pipeline. We're very interested in the design and synthesis of, uh, of new radio tracers, and we do that in the context mostly of neurotransmitter targets. Uh, we work with, uh, in the brain uh, on epigenetic processes and understanding gene expression, and we're very interested in elucidating mechanism, mechanisms of adult neurogenesis. Uh, we use these radio tracers and radio tracers that exist in the literature to, to help investigators at the center and, and in the community at large. Uh, to uh, work in drug discovery and also just to understand physiology in, in a research or clinical context. And uh, a, a key portion of our group uh, works on the development of technology to, to support and improve MR PET imaging. And uh, this is done in collaboration with, uh, with many investigators uh, at the in the Department of Radiology. Um, so in terms of chemical advances, some of the things we've contributed are, are carbon-11 methods to label molecules um, in unique positions, like those shown here. I know many of you aren't chemists, so I won't bore you with this. But uh, most recently, uh, an advancement that we've made uh, in collaboration with uh, a group at the Harvard Chemistry Department is a method to take fluorine 18F- minus that we all have if you have access to a cyclotron uh, and convert that to an F-plus derivative that allows you to do novel labeling at high specific activity. Um, what, what really motivates us, though, is, is the development of technologies that really capitalize on simultaneous, simultaneous PET-MR. We're fortunate to have two human scanners. One is a brain PET. Uh, it's, a, it's a PET insert that lives in the bore of a 3T trio magnet. Um, it has a, a reduced gantry size for the head only and gives us higher spatial resolution. Um, and we have recently installed and are beginning to use a whole body MRI, the Biograph MMR, which is a commercial product that Siemens is now putting out. So we have sort of a, uh, a unique opportunity to pilot and, and explore the use of this technology in novel ways before it becomes full-blown. In terms of opportunities or our wish list, we're always looking for uh, collaborations with academic and, and uh, industrial labs uh, in any area of translational imaging using PET, uh, and in particular now with, with MR PET. And this can include anything from the development of radio tracers for novel targets. Uh, to innovation in, in hardware, software, and data analysis. Uh, it can be in the clinical design or understanding pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of drugs behaving in the body, or even first in human uh, trials uh, uh, from a small scale to, to, to clinical scale. Uh, I just put two contact, uh, 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 two pieces of contact information up here, my own contact information and that of uh, Chiprin Katana, who really leads the MR PET technology development uh, at the Martino Center. So thank you.